Today I'm going to show you how to upload your own audio or music to Canva and also because I know that many of you are going to be asking in the comments if it's possible to record your own voice in Canva I have a little trick for you and everything that I'm going to show you today is free so if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer Hello everyone, my name is Diana Muñoz and welcome to our channel, the place to learn everything about Canva. As I already said, I'm going to show you how to upload your own audio and how to record your voice inside Canva, but also I'm going to show you how to work with multiple audio layer tracks inside Canva. So this video is going to be full of little tricks that I think are going to be very useful, so please stay until the end so you don't miss any of the steps. Okay, so let's start by how to upload your own audio or your own music to Canva. Okay, so here we are in my Canva homepage and you can use any of the doc types available in Canva. So in this case, I'm going to open an Instagram post. So let's say that you have your design ready. In my case, I'll use this template right here. This is an Instagram carousel post that is available in my Canva profile. I'm gonna leave you guys the link of my profile in the description below. So yeah, let's say that you have your design ready. I have multiple pages in my design and let's say that I want to upload my own audio to this design. Let's go to upload and here we can upload images. I know many people already know this. You can also upload videos and you can upload audio. So you can just drag your audio file inside Canva or click on this purple button upload media and select the track that you want to import into Canva. Here you will want to wait until the song or the file is fully uploaded to Canva and then you can start working with it. My file has been completely uploaded and by just clicking on top of it my song has been added or has been inserted into my design. So you can play it you can lower the volume of the song if you wish. You can also mute it if you want. I don't think you want to do this. <laughs> and if you change your mind, you can delete it from here. Now I'm going to show you how to record your own voice directly from Canva. Let's go to the navigation bar on top and click on the three dots. Here, let's search for present and record. If you don't see it below share, let's just type present and record. Here, let's click on go to recording studio. And now that we are in the recording studio, let's change the first option for no camera. This means that we are going to be recording just the audio. So let me select the microphone that I want to be using for this recording and then start recording. Bear in mind that after you press start recording, Canva is going to give you a countdown. It's going to say three, two, one, and then you should be ready to start recording your voice over or your own voice. So start recording. Three, two, Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to record your own voice in Canva. So after you have finished recording your voice, you can click on end recording. Here Canva is processing your file and now let's click on save and exit. And Canva is taking us back to the editor. Here we have our own recording, the voiceover that we just recorded inside Canva. So let me add it to the design. Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to record your... So I find this feature pretty amazing because it's going to help us save a lot of time. We can do everything inside Canva. We don't need to use any other software or application to record our voice and then take the file and upload it back to Canva. And also the coolest thing is that everything is free. And before I show you how to work with multiple layer tracks, I would like to read you the highlighted comment of the week I just saw it a couple of hours ago and this one is from Arjun Naga it says so addicted to your videos and your voice expiration so I guess maybe 
experience, ideas. It is very useful for my digital marketing champion. So maybe digital marketing campaign. Thanks, team. Thank you very much, Arjun, for leaving this wonderful comment. And I think it's full of good vibes. So thank you very much. And if any of you want to be highlighted in the next tutorial, just leave your comment down below. And now let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so now how to add multiple layer tracks to our designs in Canva. For this, it is very important for you to select a video doc type. So let's select video right here from the home page and now select any of the doc types available right here. In my case, I will use again a square format. So let's go for Facebook video. You can create your design from scratch or use any of the Canva templates available here. So let me just add a couple of them. I think this is going to be good. So I have one scene. Let me add another scene and maybe a third one. Why not? So here we have our three different scenes. And now let's add our multiple layer tracks. In order to access the feature that I'm going to show you right now, you need to opt in for the free online video editor. And I'm going to leave you a tutorial right here in which Ronnie explains everything about that new video editor and how to get access to it. So I already have access to this video editor and this is why I can work with multiple layer tracks. So let's go to uploads and if you remember I uploaded a song at the beginning so this is the song yes so by clicking on it I'm bringing the song to my design and this is the voiceover that I recorded inside Canva. So let me bring it as well and as you can see we have now two layer tracks the song and the voiceover. So let me just play. Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm We can hear the song and my voice, but we can reduce the volume of the song so we can hear my voice clearly. Hi everyone, in this tutorial. Okay, so I think this is much better. And also, I have heard from some people that they want to insert maybe one song or one audio to just one page and the other song to another page or another scene of the video. So you can do it by clicking on the song and then dragging one of the laterals and reducing the size of the song. So you can do the same for the second track. And like this, you have one audio in one page and the other audio in the second page. You can continue doing this with different audio tracks and also you can include or insert music from the Canva library. Here we have the audio section and Canva has a couple of free songs. I would say that mostly the music available here is for Canva Pro users or even if you have a Canva free account you can select any of the pro songs. You will just have to pay for the license at the end when you are going to download your video. So let's say that I want to insert the happy whistling ukulele which is a free song and let me remove this one and I will add the ukulele at the end. So like this we have three different audio tracks in the same video. So let me just play very quick. We have this song from Kia. This is my voiceover and at the end should be the ukulele. So let me know what do you guys think about all the tricks and tips that I show you today. Let me know in the comments or by just leaving a thumbs up. Also, I'm going to leave you guys my Canva profile right here in case that you want to enjoy from all of those templates available over there. These are available for Canva Pro users. And if you want to keep learning about Canva here on YouTube, I'm going to leave two videos recommended. I wish you a nice day and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye!